Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. What is TPM? How to effectively check and enable TPM 2.0 for Windows 11 update? This video will provide you with the most detailed guide. Part 1 How to check TPM 2.0 status on your computer. Part 2 How to enable TPM 2.0 on your computer. One of the requirements for Windows 11 update is that your PC supports TPM 2.0. You can check TPM status before doing the upgrade. If it doesn't meet the criteria, then you will need to enable or upgrade your TPM. TPM is short for Trusted Platform Module. It's an international standard for a secure processor and a specialized microcontroller to protect hardware. For now, the latest version of TPM is 2.0. TPM module has been given more functions in Windows 11. It can now not only serve to accelerate facial recognition, fingerprint recognition, disk encryption, but also be used to defend against the current popular ransomware virus. So the PC must support TPM 2.0 for Windows 11 upgrade. Now let's check whether your PC support in order to successfully install Windows 11, please choose one of the following methods to check if the TPM 2.0 is available on your computer. Method 1. Check TPM in Microsoft Management Console. Press Windows Set R. In the wrong box, type tpm.msc and click OK. After opening it, you may see the following two scenarios. The first one, it shows configures the TPM and its support by the Windows platform. And the status shows the TPM is ready for use, which means it is enabled. And here you can find specification version is 2.0. Then your computer is ready to upgrade to Windows 11. The second one, your computer shows the message compatible TPM cannot be found which means that your computer does not meet the criteria for upgrading to Windows 11. Method 2. Check TPM through Windows Security Application. Click Start and select Settings. Then select Update and Security. Go to Windows Security tab. Find and expand Devices Security and check if there is a security processor section on the screen. If not, then your PC may have a TPM that is disabled, in which case you will need to enable the TPM. If there is a security processor details option, select it and make sure the specification version is 2.0. If it is lower than 2.0, your computer will not be able to upgrade Windows 11. What if the computer supports TPM 2.0, but it is disabled? Keep watching. Click on Start and Settings. Select Update and Security. Then you can navigate to Recovery tab and hit Restart Now under Advanced Startup. This way the computer will reboot into Recovery Environment and you can choose Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, select UEFI Firmware Settings under this menu. The computer will restart into BIOS. If it's disabled, just enable it here. After that, save the settings and exit. And your computer will reboot with the TPM 2.0 enabled. Of course, you can also upgrade your TPM to 2.0 if your is 1.2. And this depends on your computer vendor's TPM update policy. You can find help on their official website. What's more, if your PC does not support TPM 2.0, you can use the installation disk to install Windows 11 and override the original system upgrade installation, which means to bypass the UEFI boot detection and achieve the purpose of installing Windows 11. TPM is an important device to protect your system security. And TPN 2.0 is a mandatory version to update your system to Windows 11. If you are considering upgrading your computer, 
and have some questions about TBM related issues. This video may help you out. Want to know more about Aomei? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.